video for a plate. Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. Yeah, I K W M France deck G four G five G six four player game. Uh, oh, and we've got G seven in here as well. Oh, I didn't know that. No, we don't. Hmm. Drunkard must have been moved to G seven or something. Weird. Oh, uh, so I see Chamberlain. So it's pretty difficult to pass Chamberlain, but I should read the other cards. Uh, employee of the month that looks pretty good I don't remember what goods entails though if goods includes crops or not um, drug curd hmm interesting so it's kind of like morning trader but uh, you have to pay for it. And cattle rancher, one food for a cattle. That's really strong. All right. Hey, it's my gluten-free baker. Um, well, there's the day labor combination here. Don't really want Master Builder with Chamberlain. Magician is a pretty excellent card with Chamberlain. Gets you a couple grain and uh, helps you feed early on. So we're just waiting to see uh, All right, animal worker whenever you use an action space Immediately after you may place one grain from your supply to receive an animal of your choice uh, That doesn't look very strong um Church Warden is good for Chamberlain because I can get on the Finley Gross even without room space, which is nice. Uh, forest Farmer. I actually love Forest Farmer with Chamberlain, but if I pass Puppeteer, my Magician is going to feed it quite a bit. So I would have to be kind of timely about when I would use it. I think Forest Farmer is too good for me to ignore because Forest Farmer plus Chamberlain, if Plow So comes round uh, 12, then I mean I can go on Plow So, jump to Family Growth, and I can do that twice potentially. So it's just, I think it's too good to ignore. I think Church Warden is fantastic as well. Puppeteer, probably what I'll do is I'll try to time it. So if I could play Magician to block the second oc occupation space in round two then usually I want you want to do Magician um, in round two and round four, so then the Puppeteer would only pay off once early on, at least in stage one. Acrobat. Hmm. I don't know. I think Wood Collector is quite a bit better. Dusk Worker, actually, the power on Dusk Worker is quite high. I think I take Wood Collector, though. Wood Collector is an excellent card.
Draft is taking a little while. I wonder if these guys are seeing cards that are new or unusual. Okay. Good. That, what is the definition of good in Agricola? Hmm. All building um, goods are all building resources, green vegetables, and animals. I could play, I could uh, take Employee of the Month, but I, I, yeah, Chamberlain, you don't usually want to force your occupations out early. Um, hmm. If it works for vegetable, that's pretty good. I can play it and get a vegetable, and then I'll have green coming from Magician. I can message Kimball, because he knows he passed it to me. And it doesn't reveal anything. Anything but food. Okay, yeah, let's take employee of the month then. Because all of these, uh, I guess Forest Farmer maybe wouldn't come out before employee of the month. Maybe Chamberlain wouldn't, but I don't know. Seems like I can use it for a couple different things. Uh, this pick. Martial artist is worth considering just because it gets food, but I'm going to grab gluten free baker. If I get any miner that lets me get uh, vegetables, it'll help quite a bit. This one, stone carver. Um, there's no way I play the other two. Whoops. All right. Well, private forest is usually good. Um, the thing about barn is, am I gonna plow early? That's kind of the question. But you know what? I think I'll take barn anyways. Spare fence post is interesting. And uh, muddy bog is interesting, but bog's effect is just so good. And then this one, maybe festival hall. So Festival Hall says I can turn a grain into two food and a resource, building resource. So if I turn it into a stone, that lets me turn a grain into five food, or, uh, which is quite good without having to bake it. So that works. Hmm. 
<laughs> Excuse me. So if I have one field start around eight, one field start around ten, and then I should or two start around ten, and then I should plow so in round eleven, so then round twelve. Yep. And those can be my three uses of forest farmer as well. It's an option if I want to do that. Looks like we're just waiting on Damba. So if I play Magician, Forest Farmer, Wood Collector, Stone Carver, then I can play Employee of the Month. It's an option. Um, pumpkin Patch. Interesting. Moldboard Plow. Nah. Don't need it. Um, clogs. Interesting. I think what I do though is I take Dough. I mean, Gluten Free Baker is a Baked Bread action. So it's kind of a nice combo. And one food is almost free. Almost, not quite. Okay, um, I don't want, really want alms basket. Uh, I don't want boars, boar trap. Um, I could do shepherd's kitchen, but I think witch's dance ground is pretty good for this game. Uh, it lets me do tighter fencing, so saves on some wood. Um, yeah. None of the rest of these I'm that uh, crazy on. Manure, manure is not bad. Actually, manure is a pretty solid option in this game because barn will let me hold animals. Yeah. Okay. And then this one is almost certainly rake. Wood for two points. Spare funds post is an option, but I'd rather use someone else's than my own. Um, 
crib is an option too, but it's kind of expensive to gain the points for it. So yeah, I think I'll take rake. Um, I think this pick is dingy. Uh, although I could do apprenticeship. Apprenticeship is kind of my, if I get screwed out of occupation in the first two rounds, dingy gets me food and getting food and being able to start player or, or minor improvement with the same action is nice as well. I never end up playing Apprenticeship. I always draft it, but I never play it. So I usually value playing Occupations early pretty highly, especially when I have Wood Collector and Magician. Yeah. Um, I didn't draft any of the Day Labor cards, and the fact that Bonus came back to me tells me that <laughs> the others might not be going for them either. So I'll just take Building Material. There's my board laid out kind of nicely. And I start third. That's a fine, fine place to start. Occupation or Reedstone food. Either are good for me. Occupation, so I'll play uh, Wood Collector most definitely. Oh, joiner for Kimball. So he actually doesn't mind going on my uh, traveling player's space. Uh, third, one, two, three. up joiner here. No dropped frames yet, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, I could start player building material here. But then there's no way that I can second play occupation second, so let's just grab the two clay. Oh, Jen is doing start player and playing spare fence post, so good. So that's out there, so uh, yeah, food is pretty valuable, so it's going to be really important for me to have a good food game. I didn't get any support for vegetables, but I'm hoping that manure, manure with vegetable sowing can actually be great. 
because then I can re I can sew twice in uh, very short succession. Jen asking to change her minor. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> That's great. That's so great. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Kimball will go on traveling players. It's possible, especially if he had, uh, he might go on, uh, no, he just played Stonehouse Builder. Okay, I'm good. He's going to go on Reedstone Food. But yeah, Stonehouse Builder lets you read Stone Food, even if, uh, even if someone else is on it. And he played Joiner, so he gets to do his wood read stone food action. Minor improvement here. Cord scoop. Okay. I get to do my FG action. Oh, I forgot to pick up my um, wood collector wood. Right, I gotta remember that. There's the puppeteer from Domba. That's okay. He didn't get it off the first time. Uh, Reedstone food. Already done, Kimball. Already done. Trying to start playing now, looking at Reedstone food most likely. Twibble and Twibble. Some nice food. The only thing I don't like is she hasn't gotten any occupations out, but maybe she's got arms baskets so doesn't care. With those miners, she maybe doesn't care. So I'm getting a three wood action back, which is quite nice. I guess I could fireplace. The food grab would be really nice for me. But you know what? The only way I get beaten to it is if Jen takes cook takes clay now and then cooking hearth first action next round. And then she's vulnerable to getting swept and she needs food. So yeah, I should be able to build the fireplace next round. And maybe that's all I'll do is fireplace and uh, take sheep. Or fireplace and traveling players. Although if I have fireplace and sheep, I'm not in a rush to do anything else, honestly. Huh. Yeah, she did do it. 
So that's really good for me because it means Kimball now most likely builds the first room and I'm after him. So yeah, that's good for me. I think that was probably a good value proposition either way for me. Either way, I'm going to come out and benefit in this situation. And then second action, uh, Forest Farmer, I think. I'll play, get it out of the way. Because once I play Forest Farmer, then I can Employee of the Month. And maybe Stone Carver doesn't get played. Or maybe it does. You never know. You never know. You know that this big bar is so annoying because I want to see the text, but I also want to be able to see the minor improvements on the bottom of the farm. I want to be able to see the pictures, especially. But, uh, whatever. Um, okay. Let's get my forest farmer out of the way. Let's like, get that action back very quickly. And I can feed four. No family growth. Good. Chamberlain is happy to see not family growth. I wonder if Donba will build a room here. There is four wood available, so I'd probably be tempted to go for the four wood. I probably want a second action magician here. Well, I'll be happy to grab four wood and then traveling players as my two actions. That'll be just fine for me. Stone carrier. For Kimball. Interesting. So that space is now wood, reed, stone, stone if he wants it to be. Very interesting. I have last action. So we can actually talk about forest farmer jump to magician. Jen plays Church Warden. I think I wanted, uh, yeah, I wanted to see that because Chamberlain has a better chance of getting it. Especially if family growth is round 13 and there's a 50% chance of that happening. I think at the moment, if family growth is round 13, I probably win the game, most likely. It's a little early to say that, but. War trap. That's kind of fun. Kind of silly, but kind of fun, I guess. <laughs> okay, all right.
All right. So I do that plus FG pay a wood to get a field. Looks like that. That's fine. Oh, and I forgot to pick up my wood again. Whoops. Wow. Six wood for Kimball. Oh, geez. That's good for Kimball. Oh, well. Uh, it's amazing for me. So, yeah, family growth round seven. Chamberlain. Really happy to see that. Um. What am I going to do? Do I build a room with my first action? I might. I don't know why Kimball's saying boo. This is like a dream sequence for him. <laughs> he built the first room, but didn't sit on start player. And that's the perfect time to do so. Especially because the person who is, is immediately before him. I guess he's thinking that he needs food, maybe, but I don't know. Whoa, okay, thank you. in the last harvest I must have right I did say feed four yeah I must have because I just did magician for like four food or whatever Donba is mushroom collector, mushroom collector ring, and Muddy Bog gives him a point and some clay. Builds the well. Interesting. Mm. Well, I'll build a room. I would like to get barn out, but getting barn out one round later. I don't think it's a big deal. Three stables is almost as good as four. Although the problem is it doesn't let me hold manure until later. It doesn't let me uh, use manure until later in the game. So maybe I should play it next round. has crib oh Kimball is not not doing start player oh man <laughs> uh, oh 
Okay, thanks. Thanks, Kimball. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's do it. Let's have a backdoor party. Works for me, works for me perfectly well. Um, so I will also backdoor. So I played my barn. I wanted to get that out anyways. So I feed five and do a stable. What goes up here? Yeah, I wanted to play a minor anyways, so. That works very nicely. I guess I should highlight back door just for anyone who's not uh, familiar with it. Backdoor basically says if you have two remaining purse people and the first one uses an improvement action, the second one can use family growth so long as you have room. having some issues here. Kimball's putting his food on my spaces. Oh, I shake my fist at him. Um, six wood? Yeah, that's all the wood I need for the rest of the game, almost. I need like one more three wood action and then that's it. Which is kind of ridiculous. Um, so I want to do reed stone food and then five clay and reno clay oven. Something like that probably magician traveling players this round. Jen is back doing herself. <laughs> Kimball says back door is so dumb, why did I do it? He benefited from it, but I mean, <laughs> Jen and I benefited. Jen and I benefited way more than Kimball did, I think. 
I think that is the case. Yeah, so what I'm saying to Kimball is he could have um, held on to it for one more round. And then... Um, and then in round... So then if he hadn't start player, I would start player barn for sure. And then family growth first move round eight. And then... Um, and then after I family growth first move, he could have start player back door and then he passes it to me and uh, yeah yeah he could have done it that way So it looks like Kimball, yeah, Scholar, okay, I was going to say, he's definitely got some sort of stone house combination here. They're talking about how Domba knew something was going on when Kimball was so loose with family growth. Um, yeah, I honestly thought it's probably just a stone house thing, most likely. Candy room. Okay, so Kimball's got a bit of a combo here. So okay, he does gain a lot out of it. Getting getting all this stuff out one round earlier, he he does get a lot out of it. So I'm gonna family growth again. Jump to tele. Jump to TP. See what Dumba does. Field Warden, okay. All right, uh, I have the first move. I think I read Stone Food. I don't really need three wood. Okay, Scholar is thinking. I'll let I'll see what Scholar comes up with before I do anything. Clogs. Okay. So, read stone food. Yeah, I agree with Kimball. Game is far from over. Um, so, second action, I would like to be um, employee of the month. And then my third action can be, uh, I don't know, um, something. 
<laughs> it's not very convincing by me. Uh, Ren sorry, Reno. Reno clay oven. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Jen gained a lot from that sequence. Getting to double grow. She needs the food, of course, but she had the first sheep, so, like, it's a huge jump. But I see, you see why Kimball did it, because it lets him get that scholar out one round earlier. So not only does he gain a turn on the person, but he gains a turn on the scholar, so, like, it pushes up, 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 up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> no, it's totally a block move. Um, my clay oven should be safe, right? Occupation, is occupation safe? Uh, might not be, let's get it out. So uh, cattle, vegetable, and sheep. I think that's a pretty good use of for it. Yeah, Dumba's saying, what are you complaining about? And I mean, Kimball needing to do a one food action is pretty terrible, especially because he can't then, um, I mean, he does pick up a food for Scholar, but he's saying, how's that my problem? It's not your problem. It's just, you know, he's complaining about, you know, don't make it seem like he's winning when he's not necessarily. All right, bake a grain and feed one more food. <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh, maybe you are not in control of this game after being like, Kimball not winning would be the biggest downfall. <laughs> um, so I'm in a pretty good spot. I want to do a reedstone food, which gets me enough stuff to reno. So I'm going to be in a pretty good spot to reno fence, actually, if I want to. I'll build another stable.
Did she take it? Room seven. Build room. Yeah, no clay or food taken, yeah. Landing net for scholar. <laughs> Landing that. He just got all the combo cards. <laughs> just gonna keep building up the reedstone food. The fact that the bonus the candy room is so key though. Gaining a point around is really, really big. But uh, I'm gonna laugh at them because I'm gonna drop Chamberlain and they're all gonna be like, what? <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to feed. So that means I need another bake action. So I should do a sow bake action. Should I do a sow bake action instead of a plow sow action? Or do I build stone oven? Or do I play festival hall and feed with other stuff? So there's my cattle into my farm. Um, Hmm. Let's try this. Oh, Domba built another two rooms. Nice. Lumen says, interesting choice by Domba, Domba to go to zero wood here. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's going to be really hard for him to hold all the stuff that he needs to. So I probably do so bake. So Chamberlain and then so bake. I don't I guess I don't have to um so bake with this action. If I do if I do magician, I have enough food for this harvest. Hmm. Oh, this is the latest turkey breeder I've ever seen. <laughs> uh oh no. Um oh of course I need to pay for the Occupation. I forgot about that. Hmm. So that means I need two actions. I need two actions to feed here. So my round tw 11, my round 11 could be first action, start player, um, festival hall, second action, um, chamber lane, third action, um, plow so jump to family growth. So what does that mean I need to do here? That means I need to take grain and then sow bake. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Although there's a pretty reasonable chance that uh, it doesn't come all the way back to me. Uh, you know what? I haven't talked about Chamberlain at all, Lumen, because I don't know shit about playing Chamberlain. <laughs> um, why not so bake and then Magician? Because... Oh, yeah, of course that's the better way. Oh. Uh, what am I thinking? Yeah, plow so before the end, so I get that green out anyways. No, no, that doesn't work, because to play Festival Hall, I need to have two... Uh, Two, two fields out that's why I guess I don't need to festival hall I could play something else but um, Kimball says um, not family growth he could always backdoor so but yeah the reason I'm doing it this way is because to play one two three four five to play Festival Hall, I need uh, two green fields. That's why. Sorry about that. I would like to play Manure as well. So, um, But I will have two animals as well as two spaces to hold animals with in round 12. So um, I should be able to play Manure at that point. I might reno Manure. Or start player manure. If I don't, I might not get start player this round. It's very, definitely possible. Scholar building the cooking hearth. Yeah, um, Chamberlain, um, you want to be able to plow sow and family growth in round 11. Uh, I value Forest Farmer very highly because it gives me an action to do both with one person. Um, uh, what else to say about it? Um, you want to have your feeding set up before you go into that round because that round is usually very busy. Um, I wonder if Kimball has... Um, Stone house extension. He might. I also wonder if he has Rotterdam plow with that field up in the middle there. Yeah, I don't have to play Festival Hall, but just thinking that it would be nice to get the extra food from it. Like, uh, I could play Doe. I could play Manure. No, I can't play Manure. I could play Doe. I could play Rake. But uh, the effect of Festival Hall is pretty nice. Especially if I do want to play Gluten-Free Baker. Festival Hall is a way of turning grain into food. Actually, I think those two work. To convert grain to one building resource of your choice and two food. And what is... What, what, how did I word this? Do they work together? I can't convert grain to food. Hmm, I guess not. Lumen says, the setup is seven food, green, vegetable, two fields by the end of round 10. Chamberlain usually that last action round 10, then round 11 is start player, family growth, plow so with your round 12 start player taking the round 12 action. Yep, makes sense. Yeah, sorry. I guess it's stuff that I've all internalized, so I don't even think about it. Um, yeah. Donba back dooring, so that's why he didn't family growth last round. Although... I mean, he doesn't really gain, by passing out on gaining an action this round, he doesn't really gain anything from backdoor here, but, I mean, that's his prerogative. Kimball may be held on to Stonehouse extension because of that, uh, that fact. 
Ooh. With crib, he doesn't even save the food from newborn. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he only gets crib. Crib only triggers one, once. Yeah, he only gets two. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, he didn't gain anything from using backdoor there. Oh well, backdoor getting used by four different players is pretty fun. <laughs> Not in the sequence that you normally see it though. Like you don't normally see backdoor letting like four people grow in two rounds. Which is kinda silly. Got my vegetable on there. I still need to pick up. Everyone's a needs band. <laughs> uh, well, I lose with this guy all the time, so. Jen says, you guys are complaining so much. Yep. <laughs> but it's Kim and Domba. It's not me. I haven't complained at all. Domba says, this game is special. Yeah, he's right. This game is special. But round seven, Chamberlain. When Family Growth comes in round seven, Chamberlain is so good. So... He's complimenting how I drafted for Chamberlain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, when, <laughs> when he's your first pick, it's a pretty uh, easy choice. Um, Domba's saying he'd rather face Engineer plus Braggart than um, Engineer plus Braggart or um, Round 7 Family Growth and Chamberlain. Alright, okay, so I plow so with one move and then Forest Farmer jump to the other. turn a grain into two food and a resource so I'll turn it into a uh, wood which I will use to build a stable Family growth again. 
and my sheep. And I get the Chamberlain bonus. So I want to get one more field before the end of round 13 because that gets me my last stable. I probably want a reno fence before the end of round 13. I might even, I probably will reno fence this round, honestly. Um, yeah, two boar, two cattle, both available. So I probably grab one of those first. Yeah, two boar. I could start player. Ooh, I do have my manure still to play. So I could start player manure. Hmm. I don't know, actually. That's really hard to say. I'm a little surprised by the fact that Kimball and Jen have not start playered yet. Because they're both still eyeing the... Uh, I guess Jen's going to build another room, it looks like. So maybe Kimball figures family growth, even without room, is coming to him pretty easily. Yeah, wow. If start player comes all the way back to me, I'm going to be amazed. I'm going to be really amazed if that's the case. I think he was remarking on the fact that that other car, those st things haven't come out yet. So I'll play manure here. Get a harvest. So then I can uh, Gets me a harvest so that I can plow so first action in round 13, which is a pretty strong position to be in. Do I want to reno fence here? I could. The only thing is, it's kind of slow. You know what I want to do, actually? I want a, I want a magician. I need a nice influx of food. Because if I don't get on so bake, I'm going to need food. So, yeah, magician seems like a re reasonable option here. to harvest all my fields. Donba gets to play another occupation. Constable, okay. All right, that's good to see. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad I didn't fence there. Holy, I definitely would not have got Constable if I had taken fence. Holy. I see Lumen says, question mark, question mark, question mark. It's like that Psyduck and, um, Psyduck and the Slowbro meme from 
Twitch watches Pokemon. I wonder if Jen's gonna screw Kimball over. But I mean, she has the resources for, oh, she does have pottery. Hmm. Maybe she'll decide pottery is more important. Sewing two vegetables here. Kimball's grabbing the fireplace with Scholar. She did it. Yeah. She went on family growth. I guess if she has like half timbered house or something that makes sense. But I didn't pass it, so as Kim Kimball says, I'm pretty sure I'm headed for the most epic collapse ever. <laughs> Poor Kimball. I mean a lot of this game has gone my way. A lot has gone my way. We have to make sure that we That we highlight that. Uh, I'm grabbing three wood here. Do I need it? Mm, or do I just plow? Plowing is some points. Three wood is some points. What do I do here? I'm actually not sure. I guess three wood lets me fence this this round. So what I was thinking is if I fen if I field, I can get that space and then I can fence 13, which is like eight, 10, 13. And then I can get my, use my barn to get my uh, vegetable thing. Oh, Jen plays the spare fence post now. Darn it, Jen. You were supposed to play it one round earlier. That's fine. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So I probably want to take vegetable. Because vegetable is four food and a point for me. Once I play gluten-free baker. Start player rake. Oh yeah, I could do that as well. I mean, plow might come back to me. And if plow comes back to me, getting so bake in the last round would actually be pretty strong too. Why do I want plow? It is... One more point. So this plow is a one point action. Can I do better than one point? Mm. You know what? It denies other players. Let's do it. I kind of forgot about rake. I have the wood for it. If I feel, yeah, if I get one more wood from, I was actually wondering what do I get from my festival hall, but yeah, wood, wood makes total sense.
Okay, so maybe Renault Fence plus Cattle. Cattle is a two point move right now. So long as I can breed it two times, which I definitely can. We gotta see the Field Warden start to come out from Domba. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I keep doing that. The clicking. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoops. 13, 14, 15. Fence 15. Kimball says, I only have myself to blame for playing backdoor. <laughs> Poor Kimball. Poor Kimball. Uh, I hope Plow So or So Bait comes back to me. If it does, I'm in a good spot. If it does, I'm in a really good spot, I think. Yeah. Um. Although the best case scenario is I get to so I get to play gluten free break baker before I sew. Hmm. No, I guess not. I guess it doesn't make a difference. I can just plant it out so I have the right amount of vegetables. Yeah. Um Okay, cattle's gone, uh, but boar is a point, so that's an option. Uh, you know what, I'll do my two-point rake, may as well. See if I can get something more exciting than one boar. I have dough. Dough is a food for a point. So I have one point actions available. I want to do better than one point. I can do better. Kimball says no after you so bake. I want to play a uh, gluten-free baker because I want to bake grain regularly and then bake vegetable. I think I was confusing myself that I thought I want to increase the number of vegetables that I get or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm just overthinking things. Dusk worker, that's fun. Nice. Uh, I'm super confused that Donba didn't plow it all last round. He must have a plow up his sleeve or something, or his donkey or something. One less G that I converted. Thank you. Sorry, Lumen, I forgot. Yeah, Dusk Worker. This card, its power is quite high, but I think that's because its draft position is super low. And it's a card that you play at the end of the game. So I think cards that you can play at the end of the game situationally, it's like really good. Really good. It's basically an unblockable plow action, which also happens to give you two, two wood and a fencing action. It's like so, so good. Thamba did plow? Okay. I missed it. 
build and cooking hearth first action feels bad um so one so so bake oh and look at how those crops are gonna line up and then I can play my gluten-free baker. Yeah, one more point and three food. <laughs> I'll take uh, cattle first though, because I'm running out of moves. So two points there. Five points for constable and three points for uh, church warden. So I have whatever I'm scoring plus 10 right now. And I'm scoring like, my score is probably 35 right now, at least. I will need the food. Can't use hall after play, playing gluten-free baker. Yep, that's true. So like a day labor action or something. Or I can always raw convert before if I can calculate correctly. I can, you know what? I can take vegetable before I play gluten-free baker. No one else needs vegetable. Oh, Domba does. Darn it, Domba. Or does he? Is it hidden somewhere? No, he, he needs vegetable. But he might not do it with this action since it's unblockable. Yeah, one vegetable before baker. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, this... I might actually take the food here. Mmm. Dairy crier. No, I'll take the sheep. If I get vegetable, then sheep is fine. It's one point, so... Two food, I can eat two raw grain for one point. So yeah, definitely taking the sheep. I can thank William for that. Because I went on cattle. No, Lumen, I can eat raw grain before I play gluten-free baker. Fight me here. Even if my family gets sick because they figure out they're gluten free afterwards or gluten intolerant. William, why are you taking a useless vegetable? Uh -huh. Do you remember the draft? Does Kimball have a um, stable action here? for six points looks like probably probably yes oh he can build a room stone room of course right even better even better he's one action short of getting that fifth family member though yeah losing out on church warden for him is kind of sad One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, minus two. Whoops. Why is shift not working? There we go.
saying how dare people downvote such an excellent creation because it's made by me because I was hanging out a lot with my friend who's gluten intolerant and uh, um, and we were playing Agricola actually so it was like kind of inspiration I get to play my dough for one more point so I had a really strong game So I feed 10, breed one point from sheep. So yeah, this is like a ridiculously strong game. So 49 plus 5, 3, 2, 2, 1. So plus uh, 13 points, I score 62. Yikes. 49. 5, 3, 2, 2, 1. 62 here. Haven't scored 62 in a really long time. So, 59. Everything went my way, literally everything. Oh, is S chat not on? Okay, S chat on. Oh, geez, that's why it keeps jumping to the bottom. I hate it. So 59, and then Donba scores some 46. Kimball 52 and I score 62. So yeah, pretty good. 59, 46, 52, 62. Yeah. Um, yeah, really strong. Um, I mean, everything went my way. The fact that um, like I said, I, I said right away, like I understand why Kim played backdoor, Kimball played backdoor, but Jen and I benefited so much from it coming out. And he did that because he wanted to get a stone combo, house, stone house scholar going because he was going to grow twice in a row. But Jen grew twice in a row as well. Didn't have to draft backdoor, gets it passed to her. Um, in addition, she had that first fireplace with the four sheep, which is always a fantastic situation to be in. Um, and then for me, Chamberlain plus round seven family growth is ridiculously good. The fact that I wanted to play barn round seven anyways, and then I got passed back door, like my major minor barn turned into start player, <laughs> start player back door family growth barn, like ridiculously strong. Um, my hand was really strong too. I had all like pretty much all good cards, at least all the ones that I played. I really like that, um, I'm surprised that guy got passed to me twice. That g guy that give, gave me the vegetable and the cattle and the sheep. Three, two, three, seven, nine, seven. Like actually the ability to get um, animals like later is actually pretty strong because you don't, you can figure out how you hold them later, which is good. So yeah, Chamberlain, power 5.4, strongest card in the draft. Magician, next strongest. I'm actually really happy with this pick because I didn't let myself get distracted by Church Warden. Eye on the prize, Forest Farmer with Chamberlain, super good combo. Um, wood, wood, wood Collector here. I mean, Wood Collector is good. Employ the Month, power four. Yeah, like look at this. Draft position is three, power four. So obviously it's being undervalued. Um, so the, the real power, probably once we figure out the actual value, will go down because it'll get drafted higher. But even so, like, getting a 4.0 power card with my third move is really good. 2.6 with my sixth pick, yeah. I, I had really strong cards. Barn, Festival Hall, Doe. 
Yep. Manure. Wow. 0 0.5 power manure. It was perfect. It was perfect for me. It was exactly what I needed. I didn't need Witch's Dance Crown. <laughs> At least not in that permutation of the game. I'm sure maybe in other ways that the game could go that I, uh, the other would have been better, but yeah. Pretty good. All right. Um, thanks very much for watching. That's all for me. Um, will I stream tomorrow? Tomorrow, probably not. I'm going to go see that new The Spider-Man movie tomorrow before it's out of theaters. And because Tuesdays are the cheap days. So I might stream Wednesday night depending on if I'm feeling up to it. If not Wednesday, probably on the weekend, probably next weekend coming up. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably stream in the next week at least. So probably not tomorrow. Uh, maybe tomorrow, probably not though. So, um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, this was a Chamberlain game where everything went right for me which is uh, lucky for me so yeah that's all for me thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you next time later